Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So we just had a ban list drop, so I had to react to it. Uh, lately I've not really been active, that is because I am nearing my uh, university deadlines. So I've been very busy with that and I'm also taking part in an internship so that's also been keeping me busy. So I've not really had the time to work on videos. Um, I've also planning to start streaming. Uh, I had my first stream a week ago, around a week ago. Uh, it went quite well. It was a nice, uh, good vibe. So, yeah, once I've finished with my uh, deadlines, I'll make sure to be very consistent with my uploading. And uh, I will be streaming as well. So I'll leave a link down to my Twitch down below. But if you guys would prefer me to stream on YouTube, also let me know down below and I'll think about uh, streaming on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, let, let's just get right into the reaction, I guess. So straight off the bat, they finally hit Mystic Mine, which is really good, really good for the game. Uh, Mystic Mine is just such a toxic card. It promotes uh, unskillful gameplay. Like, if you just slam Mystic Mine and your opponent has no outs or doesn't see the outs, they just lose the game instantly. And you have to specifically build a card, build your deck in a way that it plays bad cards in order to just beat this card. So thankfully, this card's out of the format and I feel like the gameplay in the format will uh, be much more skillful without this card in it. So it's very nice to see Mystic Mine gone. Um, and Curious seems to have gone as well. Which I guess is a nice uh, preemptive hit for like future decks, future card design. Because right now Tia isn't using Curious at all really. I guess it's a nice hit. It does mean that Tia can't like access Floodgates through the Curious and Griffin lock as well I guess. So you don't have to worry about cards like Spell Canceler or Anti-Spell. So it's nice to see Curious gone as well. Those are some good hits to start with. I was hoping for a few more forbidden cards, but that's fine. Um, I personally enjoy the current format, but uh, a lot of I know a lot of people don't like the current format. So I hope this list hits a lot of cards so that it sparks life into the format. So more people... Uh, We'll get excited about playing a game again because I know a lot of people have lost interest in the game. But because of Ishizu tier and uh, they don't enjoy highly skillful gameplay, or they don't have time to learn the new cards and decks and stuff like that. Because like learning new cards this day and age is almost like working a full-time job. But yeah, so let's move on to the limit. And I hope there's a few, lot of cards. That is not a lot of cards. That's just one Herald of Orange Light. This kind of hurts Ishizu Tia. Not really. It means that... Uh, it does mean that it's harder for the deck to play on your turn. Because the only ways it can really do stuff on your turn now is through... The one of Herald of Orange Light, which we now have, and the Kelbeck, and Havness. But yeah, this doesn't really do that much. I guess it does make the deck weaker to cards like Hand Traps, Bestials. So I guess that's fine, but it's not the best. And it indirectly hurts other decks as well, which is kind of sad, but. Moving on. Recital back at two. I mean, it's a boost to Liralusk, but I don't think Liralusk is really good right now. So I uh, don't know how good that is. Hope that a few cards went to free, which is nice, I guess, because the list is looking kind of rough. Uh, okay, so we've got Ptolemaeus back. Which could feature some cool plays, but like this is long overdue, really. Uh, D Fissure back at free. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Macro Cosmos back at free as well. 
Well, this promotes the unskillful gameplay that I'm against in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because uh, D-Fissure and Macrocosmos just being activated shuts off like half the decks in the game. So it's really sad to see those cards back at free. And uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be interesting format and uh, Kashtira is going to be really broken next format. Uh, Tenki back at free is cool, I guess, but there's not really any good Beast Warrior decks unless you count Tri Brigade, I guess. Uh, Metaburst back at free is fine. I mean, uh, mine is gone, so who cares? And yeah, that's the list. That's such a small list. I was hoping for a bigger list and more hits. Like, I don't mind the format, but I know a lot of people out there hate the current format. So it is sad to see that Konami didn't really address most of the issues, but at least mine is gone. And uh should be interesting to see what happens, but it's basically just going to stay as a predominant uh, Shizu tier format because everyone's just flocking to that deck even though there's plenty of other good decks that can compete right now uh, it's just the most basic one to get into straight away so it is understandable you see big numbers at events and it's doing well so might as well play it and yeah <laughs> I, w I wish the video was longer but the list is pretty small, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, even if you hated the list. Uh, I will catch you guys next time.